Welcome, I'm Jordia Benjamin, Merkin Senior Coordinator of Programs and Audience Engagement at Colby College Museum of Art in Waterville, Maine. This is Artful Healing. Artful Healing is a part of the museum's wellness initiative under the larger program, Let Art Inspire. Our theme for the month has been Time to Move, inspired by the work of Richmond Barthay, Inner Music, 1956. We have looked at this work of art through the lens of yoga, meditation, and finally, we're here today with healing, a creative hands-on experience. Now, before we begin the activity portion of this program, let's take a closer look at this work of art. A key figure in the Harlem Renaissance during the 1930s, Richmond Barthay was a pioneer in American sculpture in that he was one of the first African-American artists to focus primarily on the lives of his fellow African-Americans. Barthay's forte was realistic sculptures of religious subjects, figures in African-American history, and stage and dance celebrities. He was born January 28, 1901 in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi to Richmond Barthay Sr. and Marie Clementine Roboto. His father died when he was just a few months old and his mother's sewing supported the family. She was later remarried to William Franklin, an Iceman to rural communities. According to Barthay, he was artistically inclined from a very young age. In the book, A History of African American Artists, he is quoted as saying, When I was crawling on the floor, my mother gave me paper and pencil to play with. It kept me quiet, and she did her errands. At six years old, I started painting. A lady my mother sewed for gave me a set of watercolors. By that time, I could draw pretty well. Barthay often referred to himself as an old soul who had been here before. In discussing his belief in reincarnation, he insisted that during an earlier life, he was an artist who lived in Egypt. As a teenager, Barthay's artistic talent had attracted attention among his parents' clientele. One of those customers arranged for him to get a job with the wealthy Pond family from New Orleans, who supported the arts and had a summer home in Bay St. Louis. During that time, Barthay met Lyle Saxon, a writer working for the New Orleans Times Picanue. The two became good friends and Saxon stayed invested in Barthay's work long after he became a well-known novelist. Around 1923, a Catholic priest took an interest in Barthay's work and attempted to have him accepted at the New Orleans Art School. However, Barthay was barred from attending because of his race. So the priest paid for Barthay to attend the prestigious Art Institute of Chicago to study painting. It is here that his drawing teacher suggested he try molding in clay as a means to incorporate three dimensions into his art. Barthay began sculpting figures that expressed his sitter's emotions through their gestures and movements. Due to his undeniable talent, his teachers at the Institute advised him to cease any further sculpting classes, fearing formal training might ruin his creative spark. In 1929, as a recent graduate, he received an offer for a one-man exhibition in New York, but declined to continue his studies at Arts Student League in New York. His work won him a number of solo exhibitions and awards like the Julius Rosenwald Fun Fellowship in 1934. The Xavier University in New Orleans awarded him an honorary Master of Arts degree and he received the Guggenheim Fellowship in 1940 and again in 1941. In 1946, he was inducted into the National Institute of Arts and Letters. 
In 1933, Barthé exhibited at the Chicago World's Fair. In 1934, he also exhibited at the Cass Delbo Gallery and the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York. In 1939, his second one-man show in New York. By the end of the 1940s, Barthé moved to Jamaica due to health reasons and dissatisfaction with the New York art scene. Barthé worked in all parts of the Caribbean from 1947 until 1969 and designed many sculptures, statues, and Haitian coins that are still in use today. Barthé would later move to Europe, eventually settling down in California, where he remained until his death in 1989. In the sculpture Inner Music, Barthé depicts a nude dancer performing and emphasizing the harmonious tension between precision and grace. The inner circling movement of the arms complements the grateful and natural turning of the hips as the figure shifts his weight from one leg to another. The dancer's downward gaze points to a performance of hard rendering self-expression. Inner music beautifully and subtly creates a sense of accord and synchrony between interior feelings and dance. Now, I'll hand it over to our partner, Bodhi Simpson, an artist and art therapist who will lead us in this program. Hello everyone, welcome to Artful Healing. My name is Bodhi Simpson and I'm a registered art therapist. A large part of my role as an art therapist is to assist people in remembering or maybe even learning for the first time how to express themselves authentically in their lives. Today I'll be guiding you in the experience of moving to your inner rhythm using the creative process. We're gonna be learning how to connect more deeply to the rhythm within ourselves, as well as expanding into the awareness of the rhythm of all of life. For some of us, it may feel wonderful, it may feel incredible and enjoyable and very comfortable to express ourselves freely in our bodies. And for others of us, it may feel very uncomfortable. You know, perhaps it has never been safe for you to fully express yourself in your body. So whether this process is comfortable and enjoyable or uncomfortable in an area of growth, we're welcoming both experiences and just asking that you be gentle and loving with yourself through this process. So the truth is that we move in our bodies, but also the natural state of life is a continual process of movement. Life is in motion. It's an interconnected process where there are very large motions moving through space. There are planets and suns and moons and stars all moving to the rhythm of life. Bringing our awareness to this larger movement of all of life assists us in moving authentically in our own bodies where we may be feeling blocked. So I just like to let you know that this offering is not a substitute for therapy. It's simply a creative process to assist you in opening to the theme of movement in your own life. If something comes up that's in need of deeper healing, please seek the support of a therapist or a supportive friend or family member. And the other wonderful thing about the video is that this is recorded, so feel free to pause the video anytime and gather your materials and come back when you're ready. So what I'd like you to do first is prepare. So I'd like you to find a safe space in your home where you're going to be uninterrupted for at least 30 minutes, a space where you can feel you can really just let go of judgment, where you don't feel somebody's watching you. And also, we're going to need quite a bit of space for creating today. So um, feel free to modify the materials if you need to. But if you are able to um, work on a larger scale, what I recommend is, is a whole tabletop or um, if you have like a, a floor where you could maybe put a drop cloth, you know, a plastic tablecloth, something just to kind of protect your space, um, that would be ideal. So um, the other piece of today is we are going to be incorporating some music. And I feel that music can really just help us tune in and move our bodies a little bit more comfortably. So um, I would recommend putting together an instrumental playlist before we begin the exercise. What I use today um, for my experience was I, I went on YouTube and I typed in the top 40 piano covers of popular songs of 2020. I was really enjoying just getting into the flow of songs that I, rec I recognized. But... Um, that didn't have any words. 
But again, just feel free to put together a playlist of, of flowing instrumental music that really resonates with you. And you may also consider putting in a, a couple different um, energies in there. So you may want some that is more upbeat and some that's more slow. Just take a little bit of time and, and really mindfully put together this playlist or find a playlist, like I said, on YouTube or Spotify or Pandora that just really resonates for you. And today's recommended materials are, of course, a device to play your playlist on. I'm also recommending that you gather a few pieces of eight and a half by 11 drawing paper and just get out a marker, maybe just a color that feels like it resonates with you today. Also for our larger piece, I'm recommending a large piece of butcher paper if you have it. Um, some of you guys have, you know, larger rolls of this craft paper, that's great. If not, you can also use larger newsprint. You could use newspaper, I suppose. You could also use larger drawing paper. Or if, if you only have smaller drawing paper, that works fine too. And I'm also recommending um, a range of probably tempera paints if you have them, just simply because they are washable. But if you have acrylics, you know, I have some of these kind of like less expensive acrylics that I use for this process today. Um, either are fine, just know that there's gonna be some cleanup associated with this project. So just, just really choosing colors that resonate with you today is fine. Also recommending maybe a couple of larger paintbrushes and a cup of water. And also for cleanup purposes, some paper towels. And again, maybe if you have like one of those dollar store tablecloths or um, I don't know, something on the floor to make sure, some kind of drop cloth to make sure you can clean up if you really get into your flow. So again, modify your materials as needed. So what I'd like you to do is just to begin, I'm gonna have you grab your drawing paper and a marker and just lay it out in front of you. And we're gonna start with a few different warm ups just to really get you comfortable with um, expressing visually and also just moving in your body. So what I'd like you to do is, if you wanna pause the video right now and get your playlist ready, I'm gonna have you get your playlist out. And now we're gonna take a couple deep breaths. So you're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it. And just breathe down into your body. So you're in your safe space, your door is closed, nobody's gonna interrupt you. You have your playlist, you have your paper and your marker. And when you're ready, what I'd like you to do is just hit play on your playlist. And just allow it to be soft as I speak. You can hear your music, but you can also hear me speaking. Or perhaps you listen to me speaking first and then go into your process after. Either is fine. And to start this process, you may, you may choose to be seated or you may choose to be standing, moving freely. Either is fine. I will be seated as I model this for you. So as you listen to your music, just allow the vibrations to move through your body. What I'd like you to do is start allowing your body to gently sway and move to the music. And for some of you, it may feel uncomfortable even to start out this way. And if that happens, feel free to maybe, maybe drum to the beat. Drum on your legs, drum with your hands. Just see if you can open to feeling the rhythm. And as you continue to listen, you may allow yourself to let the rhythm bounce through your body. Roll your shoulders. You may be bouncing your legs. But again, not really concerned what this looks like, just allowing the rhythm to move through your body freely. You could also tap on your heart. You might choose to just simply, to the beat of the music, just rub your hands over your body. Just allowing some kind of movement to happen. Any movement is fine. Just 
taking a moment to listen to what your body needs and what it what it wishes for as far as movement is concerned. So what happens is our bodies can actually forget to move authentically. We can feel kind of rigid and kind of stuck. So I just want you to go where your body feels stiff. Just move into that part of your body to the rhythm. And we're just kind of releasing tensions through authentic movement. And what can help is if you maybe just give yourself permission to smile a little bit, be amused that you're doing this today, <laughs> kind of opening up to this possibility and remembering that even if it's the simplest movement, you know, you might close your eyes and just feel into your body, feel into the music. You can have your eyes open or closed, whatever is comfortable. And at this moment, if you feel comfortable, I invite you to stand up, put your chair aside, stand up, move in your body. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep breath in. And as we breathe out, we're just going to expand our awareness into the energy around us, beyond our body. And as we're gently moving, Maybe just imagining the entire universe moving with us. So maybe just opening a little bit more fluidly and feeling creativity moving through you and expressively and, and just opening a little bit more to the energy and the essence of movement. And for those of you that feel comfortable, you could maybe move around the room freely like a little childhood that, you know, maybe just doesn't have a care in the world. You could maybe play some music where you feel you could really dance without restraint. You might feel comfortable dancing and maybe you've never been a dancer, but just whatever that feels like to you, just give yourself permission now to see if that feels comfortable. Either way, we're breathing into what feels comfortable for your body. We're taking a time to allow our body to resonate to the frequency of the music and really finding its authentic tempo, which is extremely healing. So this exercise is just really giving you some time to really feel into that. What is your, what is your authentic tempo at this time in your body? Just allow your body to regulate to what that would be. Just giving ourselves permission to achieve a very relaxed state in this movement. And just knowing that this free movement really stimulates the brain's feel-good chemicals. If we can feel safe to open to that. So continue this process as long as feels comfortable. And when you're ready, I invite you to stop your playlist. Let me take another deep breath in and breathe out and, and come sit down in front of your paper and your marker. What I'd like you to do now is you're just gonna close your eyes if that feels comfortable and just tune into the ins and outs of your breath for a moment. Just allowing that movement within your body, within your lungs, opening and expanding and releasing. And we're just going to take a moment and just gently and lovingly rub the palms of our hands, just bringing some awareness and some energy to the movement within our hands. Because we're going to allow this movement to guide us on the page. So what I'd like you to do now is you're going to resume your playlist. You can play a different song or you can resume where you were at. And what I'd like you to do is you're going to start by expanding this movement beyond your, beyond your physical body through the marker onto the paper. And what I'd like you to do is tuning into the energy of the movement from the sound is just begin to make scribbles onto your paper. So again, this is simply a warm up. This may feel 
comfortable and fun, you know, like a two-year-old that just starts scribbling away. And for some of us, we are so connected to this sense of perfectionism in our lives that we may find our scribbles kind of rigid. So I just want you to notice what your scribbles are like and just, just breathe into them. You can close your eyes if you find yourself trying, trying to manage your scribbles. And again, it's just this free movement to the music. So your scribbles may look something like this. You can continue on the same paper. You can expand onto another piece of paper. Maybe just maybe playing with figure eights to the music. And drawing straight lines, see what that feels like. Maybe trying some dots to the music. Depending on the music you've chosen, you may want to express with different kinds of lines. And if you're feeling stuck, maybe take another piece of paper and see if you can approach this one with this playful, energized kind of freedom. Again, this may feel uncomfortable, but this is a larger metaphor for how you're moving in your own life. So continue this process as many times as you need to until you feel a loosening with bringing visual form to movement. And what I'd like you to do when you're ready is you're gonna take another fresh piece of paper and this time we're gonna take our non-dominant hand, so the hand that you don't typically write with. And now we're gonna do some scribbles with our non-dominant hand. And when we do this, it's, it's even harder to control the movements. But I'd like you just to tune into your playlist and allow Allow your movements to mirror the rhythms. And again, maybe smiling and being amused that you're on this humongous play date with yourself. And again, you're gonna do this process as long as you would like, or as many times as you would like, until you sink into that experience of being able to move freely and authentically in your body and beyond your body onto the paper. When you're ready, you can put your warm ups aside. And I would invite you now to if your space is gonna be on the floor, so that's where I did my, my process was on the floor um, or on the table, just really take some time, really lay out the materials, get out the larger paper, the butcher paper, the newsprint, the newspaper, the drawing paper. If you only have this smaller paper, you know, maybe tape a few pieces together, who knows? Um, lay it out on the floor. We're still gonna have our marker handy, but I'm also gonna have you get out um, your paints, your brushes, your water cup, your paper towels, maybe a paper plate for a palette or a piece of cardboard, or if you have a palette, get everything out. We're gonna do a brief visualization and then we're, I'll be guiding you in the next step. Okay, so once you have all your materials out, you have your playlist handy, or maybe through the first experiences, maybe you realize you want more upbeat music or you want slower music or you want just something different. So this would also be a time to really go through some music, some playlists till you find something that really helped you. You know, maybe it's salsa, maybe it's just something you don't typically listen to that really would be fun. And when you're ready, you're gonna sit in front of your materials, whether it's at the table or on the floor. And you're gonna close your eyes if that feels comfortable. And again, you're gonna take another deep breath in until it hurts to breathe any deeper, hold it. And this time you're gonna breathe out and expand your awareness again through your body, but beyond your body into the physical space around you. Just seeing what that feels like. So, so far today you have been moving and opening to movement in your own body. But the truth is that at the same time, you have also been here on the earth and the earth is actually rotating 
on its axis at a pretty fast pace. And as the Earth is, is rotating on its axis, it's also revolving around the sun at the same time. And as we on Earth are revolving around the sun, the sun is also moving throughout the galaxy. So the truth is that in this exact moment, as we're moving in our bodies, we are also moving within a larger whole throughout the universe. So we're just going to take a moment and breathe with the earth, breathe with the movement of the earth. And expanding our awareness to breathing within the, the movement of the larger universe and the cosmos. And we are recognizing that as we breathe with the earth and with the universe around us, that we also feel the movement within ourselves. So we're remembering that movement is who we are. Every moment is a movement. And when you're ready, you can Hold your heart, you can squeeze your arms and give yourself a hug. You can squeeze the cheeks on your face. You can rub your legs. You're gonna bring your awareness back to this moment and open your eyes. And what we're gonna do is as we create, we're also, so we're gonna hold the experience of movement within our bodies and also we're gonna be experiencing physically the movement, the expanded awareness of the movement of the larger whole because we are also a part of this larger whole. We just forget. So as we enter into this next experience, I'd like to remind everybody, this is a process painting. This is not about a finished product. You may end with something that you really like and that that is very much um, super cool that you didn't even imagine you were gonna create, but we really wanna just let go of what it's gonna look like because in order to really move freely, we have to allow allow space for movement and allow space for discomfort to come. So just noticing what feelings are arising as you are expressing through your body, as your visual expression is taking shape, you may like it, you may not like it, but really just using this as a meditation to stay present with all of it. Because, you know, as we are entering into wholeness today, in our wholeness, this is, this is what it, our experience is to be whole. You know, we have Parts of life and, and of ourselves and of experiences that are enjoyable and parts that are unenjoyable, <laughs> unenjoyable. And so we want to stay present to all of it. And so what I'd like you to do is um, now you're going to begin your playlist. So turn that on. And we're going to just simply start with our marker on this larger scale paper. So remembering it's just free form, abstract. Now we're tying in the two experiences and the visualization have your music on that really resonates. And if it doesn't, you'll just kind of keep shifting your playlist until you find it. And just slowly breathing, I'd like you just to invite yourself to express in large, large circular or linear movements to the music. Just really taking time to allow the rhythm of the music to be seen and to move through your body onto the page. So you're just like marking your gestures in resonance to the rhythm of the music. And I would recommend maybe just covering the page. Cover. And depending on the size of your paper, this may take a little bit of time. So just give yourself time. You may pause this video now so that you can really cover this page in movement, just releasing what it's gonna look like. And um, I would recommend finishing the song that you're on and just allowing it to feel like it's moving through your body. And again, if it's uncomfortable and you're feeling blocked, just breathing in and being gentle with yourself as you express onto the page. And when you have finished that, I'd like you to stop your playlist and we're gonna move the marker away. And now you will be getting out all your painting supplies. And 
I'm going to have you press play on the playlist again. Take another deep breath in, look at your paints. And I'd really like you maybe just to start with one color, one color that just resonates with you right now. So you're gonna pick your color and you're gonna allow yourself to just really start to add your paint onto this pre-drawn drawing that you have. And again, we're not coloring within the lines, we're also adding paint to this expression. And you're just tuning yourself to the vibrations of the music and also to the vibrations of the color and just noticing what comes up in you as you express freely, noticing what it feels like to add paint, add this more fluid um, material to this experience. You can also add a little bit of water to your paint if you want it to be a little bit more fluid. So again, we're using our bodies to make art. We're allowing the energy of movement to move through us. We're meditating on the colors, maybe remembering to smile if we're feeling really rigid and stuck and uncomfortable. And remembering this is simply playing, playing with colors. It's almost like, like finger painting. And maybe trying another color and seeing what that feels like. You can mark within, within shapes. You know, you can start to color in areas. Something that can be helpful if you're feeling really stuck is, is also just closing your eyes. Again, just feeling the flow of the paint onto the paper with the music for a while. And what I, I did with mine also is I actually stood up and I moved around mine and I allowed my brush, you know, as I was moving, I allowed my brush to kind of dance with me. So feel free to get up and move around and, and you know, do different motions depending on what's coming through your body and really just allowing the images to appear. And again, you're gonna do this for as many, as many songs as feels right. And when you feel like you've reached a stopping place, you can take another moment and you can maybe play one more song if you choose and and at this point, you can just take some time and add some colors where you feel like you want them to be added and just maybe add a little harmony and balance consciously within the movement. You can, you can fill in spots, you can add extra colors where it feels it's needed, but without altering it too much, maybe do what you need to do to add a little bit of balance and harmony to this, this larger system of movement. And maybe some images are starting to appear and just noticing what those are, noticing what it reminds you of as you paint. And once your creation feels complete, I invite you to stop the playlist. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go clean up your brushes, you're gonna put your palette away or clean it up, you're gonna put your paints away, you're gonna clean your entire space and maybe let this dry for a little bit. Give yourself a little bit of, of separation. And what I did with mine is I hung it up on my wall with some, some tape. And I invite you to do this as well if that's doable. If not, you can sit in front of it on the floor or on your table. But hanging it on the wall and maybe sitting your chair out from it is, um, is really powerful because, again, it helps you to separate a little bit from that emotionally. So you can just really see, see the energy that moved through you and and also expand your awareness to the energy beyond yourself into the larger whole, the larger systems around you. And what I'd like you to do is as you sit with your image, just see if a title comes to mind or a phrase that resonates with, with your experience or with what it looks like to you. Maybe get out your journal and do a little bit of writing around this. So write, writing your title, either on the, on the page or in your journal, and just taking a moment to reflect on whether or not this process was comfortable for you or extremely challenging and uncomfortable. Maybe reflecting on how you might have done it differently if you tried it again. And, you know, really reflecting on the theme of movement in general in your own life. If, if that is something that has been comfortable or uncomfortable for you. And maybe also just taking some time to reflect on whether you 
tune in often to the interconnection that you have with all of life around you. Or if you've been, you know, had the blinders on and kind of forgotten about that, forgotten about this larger system, this larger movement that you're part of. So just really taking time to reflect on if you have felt, you know, comfortable in this space of wholeness, or if you have felt separated or fragmented. And, you know, once you are clear about where you stand with all of this, maybe just taking some time to get curious about ways that you could incorporate movement into your daily life. It could be expanding on these, these exercises that we did today, or there might be something else that's come up for you. But the truth is that either way, if we bring our consciousness to this, we can learn how to live our life in new relationship to movement within and around us. I want to thank all of you so much for joining us today for this Artful Healing Program and for creating space to open to your wellness journey. I hope that you enjoyed this creative movement meditation and the experience of opening to the theme of movement within and also without expanding into the larger whole of which you are a part of. I look forward to creating with you again on the third Monday of next month. See you then. I hope you have enjoyed today's Artful Healing Program, and I invite you to spend the last week of this month journaling your wellness practice. I also encourage you to visit or revisit the previous month's programs, Artful Movements and Artful Meditation. You can find both of these on our museum website and Facebook page. Be sure to like and follow us on all of our social media accounts at Colby Museum and visit us on our website, colby.edu forward slash museum to stay updated on all upcoming programs, events, and so much more. Like always, from our museum home to yours, take care. And this is the last artful healing program for the year, but we'll be back next year. See you then.